Mike Bond here with Macwan Americani at UFC 244 Media Day. Uh, Macwan, it's very good to have you back. This is a little bit of an unusual turnaround for you fighting so quickly after your last one. Uh, how did this go down and why are you back so quickly as opposed to sitting out you know, longer like you have between previous fights? Mm, I think I'm ready. That's why I'm back. Uh, I'm fully prepared. I had no injuries, nothing. So uh, I was thinking, why not? How good does that feel, I mean, to have some momentum and not have to kind of wait maybe like a year between fights? Awesome. It feels uh, great. It feels like uh, this was meant to happen. It, uh, I come from nowhere and I want to be everywhere. And now when I'm in New York, I'm going to take that chance. I'm going to take that opportunity, trust me. Is it somewhat, you know, saying that you came from nowhere, is it somewhat surreal that you're going to be fighting in Madison Square Garden on Saturday? Well, it's big to me when you consider where I'm from. I'm uh, originally from Iran. As a refugee, we went to Iraq, from Iraq to Jordan, from Jordan to Paris, from Paris to Finland, and now I'm in Madison Square Garden. So, yeah, I came from nowhere. It's quite the journey, man. I mean, do, do you sit back and kind of, you know, think about that, like where you come from, where you're going and everything, or do you just try to focus on, you know, the task at hand here? Well, how can you forget, considering what's going on at the moment in northern Syria? I'm Kurdish, so uh, that's in my mind all the time. Uh, I will never forget where I come from. I will be, pr I'm proud of that, where I come from. Do you try to use this platform to, you know, send a message or like anything like that for where you, where you come from and, you know, some of the issues going on there? Uh, I feel the responsibility to do that and uh, I feel that that's my task at the moment and yes, I will do that and I will use that as a power to speak out and I know the whole world is a witness for this cruel attack but uh, and, uh, but it's never a bad thing when somebody who who is eyes or all the eyes are on me at the moment so it's not a bad thing that I bring that thing up and uh, it's not a something that uh, I haven't thought about since this whole fight camp. It's something that I've been thinking constantly. So I'm happy that I can get this chance to go there and finish my open and then, then speak out. Does it kind of put maybe your fighting career in perspective a little bit? Like, obviously, this is what your life is all about and it kind of consumes your daily routine. But there's also much bigger fights going on, you know, in the world. Uh, does that kind of put your career and what you're doing here in perspective a little bit? Well, yeah. but. Uh, the thing is that this is the only thing that I can do for them and because I know that my win will help them, will encourage them, will inspire people. So yes, uh, this is bigger than me, this fight. This has bigger meaning. Sure. And I mean, speaking of the fight a little bit, obviously, as you climb the ranks and you get bigger fights, that helps your platform grow even more. So when you think about this fight against Shane and your career, what does it kind of mean in the grand scheme of things? Well, it's a good fight, good matchup, uh, but I don't care who is against me this Saturday. I haven't uh, analyzed him the way I did before because my goal is further than this. My, I'm, I'm heading for that belt, so I don't mind. Shane Burgess. He's just one obstacle ahead of me. How far away do you think you are from that? Three fights. Do you know, you know what kind of matchups you'd take to get there? I don't care who is there. I know who is holding the belt. My eyes is on that guy. Do you think when you get there it's still Max Holloway holding the belt or do you think Volkanovski has it by the time you get there? I think uh, Max is a smart guy. He has uh, experience defending that belt, so I think Max will hold on to that belt until I'm there. Do you like the idea of fighting you know, the dominant long-time champion in that sense, of being the one to dethrone him? Uh, well, to me, it doesn't matter. I, like I said, when I'm there, who is holding the belt, that's my goal. Last thing I want to ask you, what's the story behind the chain and the piece going on there? I really like it. Uh, the stone, maybe to you or somebody else, has no value, but to me it means everything and I get a uh, good feeling about it and uh, 
it's really energetic to me. Uh, keeps my positive energy up. So that's the story about that stone.